Hello, today we're going to have a chat about these things. Each of these actually bear the same name, and that is the Ansophone. Ansophone, Ansophone. However, two are quite similar, and the other one is a bit different. These two Ansophones are British answering machines. This one's from the mid 1950s. It was kindly sent in for the cost of postage by a lovely person called Roger. It's partially working, and we'll be having another closer look at this one in another video. This answer phone is a more updated version of this answer phone as far as I'm aware. This one, I'm pretty sure is roughly a decade newer than this one. So these British ones were licensed and maintained by British Le Telecom and they were directly wired into the phone line. And what they have on the inside, uh, they're both very similar actually. If I get the front of this off, it's a tape machine with a bit of a difference. There's a large reel-to-reel -reel up here, but there's also actually a smaller reel-to-reel -reel down here. There's an electromagnet that selects between both of the reel-to-reels. This bottom reel-to-reel -reel is where you record the message saying, hello, I'm not on the phone right now, can you please leave a message after the tone? When that's finished, it will go up to this reel-to-reel -reel and record the message. Obviously, it's a longer one, so that means it can record more messages and such. And on the front of it, it's got a few controls, including an array switch, start, stop switch, and then a few modes like rewind, pause, play, and normal. And on the back, you'll get a peek on the inside to have a look at the rear of it. And as you can see, there's a lot of capacitors. There's a bit of dust here and there. Uh, yeah, we need to take a little bit of a look at this to see if we can get it running again. This one is largely the same, just slightly up to date. Um, this has still got the reel-to-reel, -reel, and I think it's underneath this one right here. We need a screwdriver. You will see it also has... Oh no, I'm going crazy. Where is... Where's the blooming... Where's the blooming other reel? This one has a tape loop on the bottom with the outgoing message, hello, I'm not here right now. As you can see, there's two electromechanical solenoids. When this one turns on, it will engage the uh, tape loop and play the tape loop through the tape heads, which are right here. And then this one engages and it will record the message onto the reel-to-reel -reel that's up here. And when you want to play it back, it will play it back through this tape head. And that style of function for a long time largely stayed the same, even going down to ones uh, using cassette tapes. For instance, the answer call right here, this uh, records the incoming messages. And then the outcoming message is also on a cassette tape. It's just a, a tape loop that's in it. So there's a tape loop on the back. But today's video is actually focusing on this answer phone right here. This is from the United States. And it is both similar and very different to those other two answer phones. And as far as I'm aware, there is no company connection between the names. It had to uh, tick a few more boxes. The main being the fact it couldn't directly be plugged into the telephone lines, which is why it looks uh, quite a bit different. So if you open up the top, you'll see that there is tape on the inside. It's slightly, of course, there are some differences. There is an answer phone cartridge here. This is uh, basically a very large tape loop that is uh, rolled up in here and then it goes around and around and then back into itself. But of course, you'll see the design in this is really compact and funky and neat because the outcome going message, the one that you record and be like, I'm not around right now, and it's going around the whole outside. So here's the tape heads, it goes down here, and then over to this pulley, and then over to there, 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 and then along there, and then it goes down and gets driven here, and then back over the heads again which results in about 30 seconds of outgoing messaging. Hidden right down on this side is a speaker, and there's actually a speaker grill for it uh, right here on the top of it, oddly enough. Uh, it relies on the sound traveling upwards and then through this grill. Also, you'll notice this metal bar on the front of it. This is actually a sensor to sense AC current coming from the ringing of a phone bell. And I'll show you why that's important in a second. Let's just quickly put the cover back on for a moment. Around the back we can see the internals. It's reasonably sparse, all of the electronics is over here. The circuit board is over here, there is a hinged access panel over here, we'll have a look at it in a second. But from around the back you can see the motor, the belt is actually still intact. There's also a big electromagnetic mechanism here that we'll have a look at in a second. This thing has such an amazing design. Uh, it's got a hinged panel at the front where you can access the certain relays. There's a sensitivity and time control for the sensor on the top that we spoke about earlier. And all in all, the way this machine is put together, it's a, it's a work of art. It's got all of the controls on the front, an on-off switch, a volume switch, there's a mode switch, and then there's a test button and then there's a record and amp button, got to figure out what that does. It's got this funky microphone that is on a mini XLR that plugs in right here. I'm going to screw that into this. It's got that, it's also got these weird antennas that sit right here and they wiggle around like this. And if you haven't figured it out already, all of these things are solutions to make an answer machine that doesn't actually plug into the phone lines. Let's get a suitable telephone and plump it on the top right here. Ooh. 
Oh, let's try and get it in right. So the sensor is situated to listen to the coils that are inside the bell that is at the bottom of the phone. It's basically gonna listen to when the phone rings. And yeah, amazingly enough, these little rods on the back are its robot hands. And what that does is pick up the phone. Uh, I'm, I, I might be missing something. We'll see if that actually works as it's supposed to in a sec. And of course that microphone is designed to sit on the earpiece of the phone like this. It might need a little bit of tape. We should have this all connected up, enough to actually see if it's going to do anything. I haven't tried it yet with a phone that actually fits. I did try it a couple of weeks ago, but all of the GPO Yuko phones didn't actually work with it. So I had to find a US phone which took me a couple of weeks. But I did find that if I used a drill, a DeWalt drill on top of the sensor, it would answer the phone for me. So uh, that's pretty funky. Hello, unfortunately I'm not here right now. Please leave a message after the tone or something like that. Ah, the connector of the um, microphone is not working, so I've just got to resolder the connection. Hello, check, check, check. Hello, check, check, check. Hello, how's it going? Good afternoon. Hello, I'm afraid I'm not at the phone right now. Um, please leave a message after the tone, and I'll get back to you at my soonest convenience. So it's got a capacity of about two and a half minutes. Well, no, I still need this microphone because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick over to the message. I think this is the one where I flick this to record and then with any luck, I'll be able to record the outgoing message. Hello, I am afraid I cannot come to the phone right now because I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to live my life for a few hours and then hopefully it all goes away and all the problems. And, and it's still holding on, so we're still... Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> I've got a random message. That wasn't very good, but uh, it's enough. Click over to confirm, and I think when it's on confirm, we can confirm that message. Well, the thing, but there's always cold callers, and then you're like, oh, he's calling me. Is it a cold caller? Shall I ignore it? What do I do? Where do I go? I'm just going to put my phone Okay, so it's about 10 seconds. I'm gonna do one of those one more time, get it properly now, I know the length of it. So let's try that again. I'm afraid I cannot come to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the tone. Boop, 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 boop. Da -da -da Still going. It's not stopping. Maybe the stop function of this 
phone. Ugh, I can't get the speed, I can't get the distance right. Let's try that. It. Right, let's try that one more time. Okay, now I know it's a bit crunchy at the start, so I'm gonna go boop, boop, boop. The person you are trying to cut, that is the worst accent in the world. But I'm not here right now, so just leave a message after the tone, please, and I'll answer as soon as I can. Boop. Oh, that was a good timed one. Okay, right, let's uh, flick that over. Okay, that's, that's a good message. So what I'm gonna try and do now is flick it over to Absent. Um, I think I set it to record. Or do I set it to... No, I'm not sure. I'm gonna flick it on Amp just in case it over records the other one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to another phone and I'm gonna try and call it and just see if it actually picks up. This will be amazing if it works. But if you've seen, like, these seem to flick the phone off, so uh, maybe there's a bit missing. I'm gonna have a look. Well, let's give it a go first, let's give it a go. Right, right, I'm gonna go and, gonna go and call it. Why well, is the phone not working? Huh. Oh. Oh dear. I don't know whether the phone works. Oh no, we're gonna have to fix the phone first. Damn it! So the bell isn't working right now. However, if you listen closely, you can hear it trying to ring. So hopefully it's just a hang up. But technically, that should still mean that it would have answered. So maybe the sensitivity is low. We'll have to have a look at that as well. Also, I'm not even sure whether the AC currents in the UK are at all similar to the American ones. I wouldn't, I don't even know, so. Um... Okay, so after having a fiddle round, uh, basically the capacitor that's on it, this one right here, it's not really working with it, but um, having swapped that capacitor that goes along the line with a different capacitor, this is about one microfarad, it's basically two, uh, two microfarads in series, which reduces it down to one microfarad, and it's got a decent enough... That works enough. Now let's answer the phone and see. Let's see if it works. Hello? Yeah, that works. Awesome. First thing we need to do is see if the sensor will actually pick up the phone. No way, it's picked it up! It's picked up! Okay, so we know it will pick up. In fact, it's still picked up now, so I'm not sure what to do about that. So it's recording as we speak right now. So luckily the sensor works on the US phone. I haven't wasted my time just getting hold of one, so that's, that's good news. Why isn't it picking up? Oh, because the tape's ended. It doesn't take any more messages. Okay, so I have less the message. It needs to get to the end of its line. It's a bit flawed. It doesn't seem to have a method of being able to stop. Okay. So, I need to figure out how to make that work. So the speaker, so the amplifier, so the microphone is recording a little bit on the quiet side. Um.
Maybe there's a gain adjustment on the bottom somewhere for the microphone. Listening. I've got to listen. Oh, that's me talking here. So the problem is, is it's going to hear me when I'm talking outside of the phone, but I cannot hear it. It's not recording a decent audio coming out of here. So it's possible that because of the capacitor that I added, hello, because of the speaker's still really loud. There's still a very loud loop going on in the phone. Oh, check it out. Hello, 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 hello. Damn. Well, there's going to be another video on this. Wait for part two and hopefully these problems will be sorted. Toodle-a-doo.